Boundaries are lines that define where one person ends and another begins. In the context of interpersonal relationships, boundaries help determine what is acceptable to us and what is not. Boundaries can vary from person to person and can pertain to different aspects of our lives. These can include time boundaries, emotional boundaries, physical boundaries, digital boundaries, and so on. Examples of boundaries. 1. Time boundaries. You may decide that you don't want to work outside of office hours or don't want to take work-related calls after office hours. These are your time boundaries. 2. Emotional boundaries. You may decide that you don't want to share your personal problems with your co-workers. These are your emotional boundaries. 3. Physical boundaries. You may decide that you don't want others to touch you without your consent, even if it's a friendly touch for greetings or farewells. These are your physical boundaries. 4. Digital boundaries. You may decide that you don't want your work colleagues to add you on their private social media accounts. These are your digital boundaries. Understanding and setting boundaries are crucial for maintaining healthy interpersonal relationships. It allows for the protection of your time, space, energy, and well-being. Remember, you have the right to set boundaries and others should respect them. Self-awareness refers to understanding your own needs, expectations, and limits. It's a crucial step in the process of setting boundaries because we can't effectively communicate our boundaries if we're not sure ourselves what we want and need. Here are a few steps you can take to increase your self-awareness. 1. Reflection. Spend some time reflecting on what annoys you, what makes you feel uncomfortable or taken advantage of. Are there specific situations that keep recurring? Are there particular people or types of behavior? 2. Identify your priorities. How do you want to spend your time? What is most important to you? Is it work, family, hobbies, rest? What are your goals and dreams? 3. Understand your limits. Everyone has their own limits. This could refer to the amount of time you can devote to work, the amount of stress you can handle, or the amount of energy you can give to interacting with others. What are your limits? Examples of self-awareness. 1. You might notice that you feel irritated when your coworker constantly asks you for help with his tasks, even though you have your own duties to perform. This may suggest that your boundary has been crossed, you need time to focus on your own work. 2. You might notice that you feel exhausted and stressed when you work overtime. This may suggest that your boundary has been crossed, you need time for rest and recovery after work. 3. You might notice that you feel uncomfortable when your boss comments on your private wardrobe or appearance. This may suggest that your boundary has been crossed, you need respect for your privacy and autonomy. Remember, self-awareness is a process that takes time and practice. However, it is a crucial step in the process of setting boundaries. The ability to communicate your boundaries in a clear and assertive manner is a key element of boundary setting as others won't know what your boundaries are unless you inform them. Assertive communication is direct, respectful, and open. This means expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs in a way that is clear and understandable to others while also respecting their rights and feelings. Here are some tips on how to communicate your boundaries. 1. Be clear and specific. Instead of saying I wish you wouldn't interrupt me so often, say I need two hours of uninterrupted work each day. Can we set a specific time when I can assist you? 2. Use I instead of you. Instead of saying you always interrupt me, say I feel overwhelmed when I am interrupted during work. 3. Be assertive, but respectful. Remember that you have the right to express your boundaries, but others also have their rights. Try to communicate your boundaries in a way that is assertive, but not aggressive. Examples of communicating boundaries. 1. If your coworker constantly asks you for help with their tasks, you could say, I understand that you need help, but I have my own responsibilities to attend to. Could we set a specific time when I can assist you so that it doesn't interfere with my work? 2. If your boss expects you to work overtime, you could say, I understand that there is a lot of work to be done, but working overtime is affecting my health and well-being. Could we discuss how I can effectively fulfill my duties within normal working hours? 3. If your coworker comments on your private clothing or appearance, you could say, I feel uncomfortable when you comment on my personal appearance. 
Could we focus on the work? Remember that communicating boundaries can be difficult, especially if you're not used to it. However, it can significantly improve your relationships and well-being. Setting boundaries is a skill that requires practice. It can be challenging at first, especially if you're not used to expressing your needs and expectations. However, the more you practice, the easier it will become for you. Here are some tips on how to practice setting boundaries. 1. Start with small things. If setting boundaries is new to you, start with small things. It can be something as simple as saying no to a favor request when you're too busy, or asking for privacy when you need some time for yourself. 2. Practice assertiveness. Assertiveness is a key element in setting boundaries. Practice saying no without feeling guilty. Remember that you have a right to your own time and space. 3. Be consistent. Setting boundaries requires consistency. If you set a boundary, make sure you're prepared to maintain it. If others see that you're consistent, they are more likely to respect your boundaries. Here are examples of practicing setting boundaries. 1. If your coworker consistently asks for your help even when you are busy, you can say, I'm sorry, but I'm too busy to help you right now. Could we discuss this later? 2. If your boss expects you to work after hours but this crosses your boundaries, you could say, I understand there's a lot of work to be done, but working after hours is affecting my health and well-being. Could we discuss how I can effectively perform my duties within regular work hours? 3. If your coworker doesn't respect your private space and often enters your office without knocking, you could say, I value our collaboration, but I need some privacy when I'm working. Could you please knock before entering? Remember, setting boundaries is a process. It may require time and patience, but it is crucial for maintaining healthy relationships and protecting your well-being. Setting boundaries is not a one-time action. It's a process that requires regular evaluation and maintenance. Even after setting boundaries, situations may arise that will require you to rethink and adjust them. Here are some tips on how to maintain your boundaries. 1. Regularly evaluate your boundaries. Are your boundaries still meeting your needs? Are there situations that make you feel uncomfortable or exploited? Are there people who are not respecting your boundaries? 2. Be consistent. If you set a boundary, make sure you are ready to uphold it. If others see that you are consistent, they are more likely to respect your boundaries. 3. Communicate your boundaries. If you notice that someone is not respecting your boundaries, let them know. They may not realize they have crossed your boundaries, or they may not understand what your boundaries are. Examples of maintaining boundaries. 1. If your coworker continues to ask for your help even though you've already told them you're too busy, you could say, I understand that you need help, but as I mentioned before, I have my own tasks to complete. Could we schedule a specific time when I can assist you? so it doesn't interfere with my work. 2. If your boss still expects you to work overtime, even though you've already told them it's beyond your limits, you could say, as I mentioned before, working overtime affects my health and well-being. Could we discuss how I can effectively complete my tasks within normal working hours? 3. If your coworker continues to disrespect your private space and often enters your office without knocking, even though you've already told them about it, you could say, as I mentioned before, I value our collaboration, but I need some privacy when I'm working. Could you knock before entering? Remember, maintaining boundaries is a key aspect of protecting your time, space, and well-being. Setting boundaries does not mean you need to sever relationships. In fact, healthy boundaries can help strengthen relationships because they ensure mutual respect and understanding. Often, People fear that setting boundaries might cause conflict or harm their relationships. In reality, however, healthy boundaries are key to maintaining healthy, respectful relationships. They allow you to protect your time, space, and well-being while also allowing others to understand your needs and expectations. Here are some examples of how setting boundaries can strengthen relationships. 1. If your coworker constantly asks you for help, Setting boundaries can help strengthen this relationship. It can help your coworker understand that you have your own tasks to attend to, and that you are not always available to assist them. It can also help prevent frustration and resentment on your end. 
2. If your boss expects you to work after hours, setting boundaries can help strengthen this relationship. It can help your boss understand that you need time for rest and rejuvenation, and that you cannot always work overtime. This could also help prevent burnout and increase your productivity during regular working hours. 3. If your coworker does not respect your private space, setting boundaries can help strengthen this relationship. It can help your coworker understand that you need privacy when you are working, and that it's not acceptable for them to enter your office without knocking. This can also help prevent frustration and dissatisfaction on your end. Remember, setting boundaries is an expression of respect for yourself and others. It's not a sign of lack of care or rejection, but rather an expression of a healthy sense of self-worth and respect for your own needs and expectations.